Okay, so I've done uh, full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm-hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So another drone? Yeah, they dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi. I'm Amy. Your... Handle. Pleasure to meet you, Dalo. Are you going to hurt me? Listen. Let me do my work and you'll live. Understand? Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now! It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. You're all right. You're all right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us are stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this chemical ruin my life? Tessa. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Mira, Talo, please, you have to trust me, okay? This will save your life. stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects Okay, that was uh, the intro for the complex. It's an uh, interactive game, movie. I'm playing it for the first time. Uh, I don't. I kind of went in blind into this game. I. 
I read a review about it. Uh, somebody on the internet uh, pitched it to me. If you like the X Files, uh, Black Mirror, uh, stuff like that, then uh, it's a game you should check because uh, it's maybe not really a game is it though uh there's no real gameplay it's described as an interactive movie so you're watching a movie or an episode of black mirror or the x files something like that uh or the movie outbreak i guess it's about a virus so it's uh, very topical and uh yeah, you you play this girl, this doctor, and yeah, you have to make decisions, and those decisions impact the story. Who will live? Who will die? I already killed two people, <laughs> so I'm not doing so good. Of the three people I met, I killed two. <laughs> I'm just in the intro. Um, uh, I'm not going to do a complete walkthrough, playthrough of the game or the movie. Uh, just gonna play the intro a little bit to because it looks really interesting and I wanted to sh share this game with uh, you guys. Uh, Sorry, I'm saying a lot of uh, because I'm uh, not doing. I don't. I don't write. I don't script these things. I never played this game before. I don't script my videos. <laughs> I'm not, not really a professional YouTuber. Just do this for for a bit of fun. Uh, so I am way too lazy to write it, to write a script, but I did want to uh, take a break to talk about, and I d should script this because it's uh, an interesting discussion. So maybe. You guys can comment below in the comment section and smash that like button. <laughs> no, I don't care about that. Don't smash that like button. Don't subscribe, whatever. <laughs> uh, those my videos aren't monetized anyway. Uh, but this game is interesting because it walks the line between what is a game and what is a movie where is the where is the line between a game and a movie as far as i know from what i read this doesn't have any real gameplay you watch movies you watch like good scenes like for example you have a game like mass effect and you have a lot of dialogue, you have a lot of cutscenes, and during those cutscenes you make decisions and those decisions impact the story. There's a lot of games like that, but in between those cutscenes you run around shooting aliens, robots, bad guys, whatever. This game just has the cutscenes, the interactive cutscenes where you make decisions as you could see I had to make a decision I only had one medicine and I had to give it I had to choose who to give it to and then the patient stupidly broke <laughs> the, the vial with the medicine so they both died guess I should have uh, 
uh, gave it to the other girl. Maybe, maybe the same would have happened. I don't know. Uh, this is not a long game. I heard it's about ninety minutes to uh, about one hundred twenty minutes. It's the length of a movie, basically. But there's different endings, different. It's a kind of game you'll want to replay a few times. And I also don't think. And it's it's not it's not uh, it's not full priced, so it's not a sixty euro game. So there's that. So gonna get play a little bit more, show some of the gameplay or interactive FMV, and check it out if you like what you see. with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. The real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. What's your problem? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. Amy, you'll need it. A 
certainly. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, it really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. OK, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. We were waiting on your word before moving her. A single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Drone. Don't fuck it up. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. So, yes, let's get back to the complex. I'm gonna stop the game here. So, if you wanna see more, it's available right now on Steam. Or, uh, <laughs> if you wanna see me play more of this game well just let me know and i just might do it see you later guys